Tomorrow we celebrate Nigeria at 59. And there are so many things to remember. The labors of our heroes past shall not be in vain. That's one line from our national anthem. It's not just the responsibility of just the heroes gone. There are some heroes, not wearing capes, but they're still alive and well. One of them is documenting history. And in the course of her research in Nigeria's history, she's come across a startling revelation about the, the seemingly hapless past youths, past, present, and future. And she's going to be talking to, to us through some of these experiences that she has had and she has documented over time. We're doc talking about Novo Isioro, who is a documentary photographer, visual communication strategist, and founder and curator, Aniza. She joins us from our Abuja studio. Thanks so much for joining us uh, this morning, uh, Mrs. Isioro. So um, could you give us a little perspective, first of all, why are you so interested in this? Um, my interest has just been about um, seeking knowledge. I am very interested in young people and how, pe personally, I just, uh, I, there's so much I didn't understand about Nigeria. You know, you just questioned so many things. And the more I question myself and other people around me, and they don't have the answers to give me, the more I know that this is something like a personal call. And a lot of young people like me do not understand our Nigerian history. And I think, you know, strongly believe it was one of the, is one of the major factors or problems that, that, that we're facing because we do, we do not have any, any like established um, institution where Nigerian history can really be taught. And then recently, history was taken from our curriculum in secondary schools, and I thought it was a major problem. And that, this, this, this is how the whole interest grew, like how can history be taken away from our ed educational system? You know, it's bad enough that we don't know so much, and because so much is not in the, on the, in the open, it's not, it's, not, it's not accessible. And then the little one we had in our schools was yanked off. So these are the things that just grew the interest for me to, to delve into Nigerian history, like, docu like searching, researching, and going into like places where no one was going to, asking questions no one was asking. And from the little things I've been able to gather over time, I have decided, as a, well, I'm a visual communication strategist, and I really communicate with pictures, and young people like me um, understand better through pictures, through what they see, you know? So I, then I thought that I could, as long, as much as I research, as, lo, as much as I get, I decided to have an open gallery where I can show other young persons like me to, to come witness and see the truth for ourselves beyond what was given, beyond what, what was like, well, handed over to us. Okay, now take us, take, us, take us through some of these speeches. The first one that I am particularly um, excited with is the one where you have a Nigerian Biafran officers embracing each other at the end of the war. 67 this one yeah go ahead talk talk us yeah. through this why what why, what does this speak basically, to you what, yeah yeah basically i practice one of my favorite father that i that i that i found it's amazing how a lot of young people are gallivant i mean are interested the energy is pumping up to want to go to want to be divided. And there was a day I was at the market, the local market in Abuja, and I asked the young person, I said, have you ever seen war? Have you ever seen any pictures of war? Have you ever come close to it like sights? It's not about what you, what you heard. And she told me that, no, that she hasn't seen anything. I said, okay, cool. Those are the things I wanted to explore. So when I saw this picture of a Nigerian soldier and a Biafran soldier and how they were hugging after the war, it just it spoke so much to my essence, and, and I believe every Nigerian essence. So all the visitors we've had always, like, they, they wow at this photo. Like, you never know that there was a time where after the war, or I'm, I'm sure even during the war, some persons even that were fighting the war were like, we have to stop this. But, of course, it was like, obey the last order, yeah? But after the war, it's amazing to see that we realize that we don't need all this. And these are young people. 
And this is why my interest is basically about young people, because we are always the one that are at the forefront of this crisis, of this war. We are at the receiving end. You never see an old woman or an old man fighting battle. It's always the young ones, the children, that are used. And then, that is particularly why that picture really spoke to my heart, and why it's, it's, like, it's one of the biggest prints in the gallery right now. You know, like, see what has happened before, and see where it brought you know, us. And, and the, the, that is amazing. Yeah, that, the, that, that picture that, is that, really that same amazing. Thing, that same thing, you know, uh, would probably speak to this next picture uh, of, a, of a Nigerian Civil War victim. Uh, at the, at the, look, look, at, look at this image. And, you know, when people, you know, beat the drums of war today, you know, talking about violence and talking about secession, um, many of them do not have this kind of experience, I mean, from this image that you, you have here, right? Yes. So, the, so these are the survivors of the war, um, the civil war, and it was just, I mean, I had to, I deliberately do not want to put some other disheartening photos out there, but they're all present in the gallery, where you see, you know, people who lost their lives on the streets and all that stuff. And it's enough. We, we don't have to keep hiding these things. We need to show it out. We need to, as a matter of fact, the mission is to have probably a whole gallery, you know, dedicated strictly for the civil war. So schools will begin to visit. We just have a session of the gallery that is dedicated to the civil war. And when people come to that session, they're like, oh, no, why are you showing this? And I'm like, you have to see this. So when you experience this, you know that you don't want to come back there, no matter what. You have to find new means to, 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 talk, and, 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 and to talk about our differences, other than we want to fight and kill. Because who does it help, really? And, okay. and that's the thing. So you see people who try to survive. I mean, several persons died, but the few persons all straight into the camera, looking straight into the camera, apparently looking for help, okay. you know, in, the, in that particular photo. So, yeah. you know, it's, 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 it's one of the mildest photo, like the, the nice, like if I can use the word nicest photo in the gallery about the Civil War. Now, it's know, probably it just also, says that it's actually, we don't want to come back here. Yeah, it's probably also the reason that the, Dr. Namdi Azikiwe's paper was titled uh, Respect for Human Dignity in um, 1960. Uh, this was even before the, the, the war of 1967-68. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, why does this speak to you? Okay, so respect for human dignity, yeah. I saw this photo and um, I saw this particular text and in, in, in picture and I was like, this topic has actually been on since since forever so when we talk about unity right now it seems like some persons are just trying to preach like in the church or in the mosque or whatever and 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 then and, and this is why this particular photo like it's not there are no people there but it was particularly selected because it's just to show young people again and, and even older people that this topic has been on and if we've been talking about something, it's a, in, in psychology, if you do something for 21 days, it becomes a habit. I mean, we've done this for, what, 59 years? And we've been talking about unity? In more than, like, the product there is more than 59 years. And then it's like you really, it's like, it's a, it's a call, it's a call to, 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 to duty for everyone, especially young persons, like I said. So it just, it just, it just, it just helps us come back. It helps the older people to remember that this has been on and also help the young persons to know, you know, so there's a reminder and there's a knowing, there's a knowing of fresh okay. of, that, and of that particular image. And, and, and that's why, you know, we, we thought it was important to, to show Nigerians, yeah, Nigerian and, youths, basically. And, and also the fact that, buttressing the fact that uh, that respect for human dignity is an element in the constitution of Nigeria down through the years. I mean, of course, as we have it today, mm -hmm. fundamental human rights is still entrenched in the chapter two of the constitution. But then, um, in the, after mm -hmm. the war, the government set up the National Youth Service Corps uh, to uh, try to foster unity among the people as well. And this is the pioneer set of NYC? Yes. This photo was, I was amazed. I did my youth service corps in a number of states about, about nine, ten, ten years ago. 
and it was an influence. So one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about NYC is because or I, 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 I always pray for General Gowon who made this possible for, for Nigeria, even though right now it's been in court, you know, bastardized in terms of, in terms of favoritism. So youths themselves do not want to, they do not understand, I think they do not understand why NYC was formed. Because if you understand why N NYC was formed, then the question of lobbying to, for a preferred state, it's not going to happen. So now, um, I've engaged some youths and say, why are you influencing your NYC? Because the reason why it was formed is to foster unity. So you make um, an Alison man go into an Igbo land and, and cultivate the land and work with the people and live there and all that stuff. And, but now it's not what it is. So the, 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 the thing I hear is security. So security is not there. But the truth is, maybe if we begin to embrace why NYC, understand and embrace why NYC was formed, then we'll begin to as, as a body and say, why, what do we do about the insecure, insecure state? Maybe then we'll begin to, to match forward and say, we do not want to be posted to social and so states until the security is sorted. But the question, the, tru the truth of the matter is, NYC influences has been uh, started even way before the whole security, um, the crisis in all the northern states started. It's been like, like in my time, like I said, even before I said, like I said 10 years ago, many young people want to, they have preferred states where is it that it's like um, there's a job you know, in this particular town or the state. So they influence it to want to be there for whatever reason. And I think it's not their fault, really. It's just because these things are not taught. You know, we need to, I mean, we cannot let the hard work of, 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 of this person, who it might not be, in, in this case, it's not necessarily the Koko Gowon. It could be any other person who's done something to unite the country. I think everyone should join, join hands together to push that, foster that cause. And, and yeah, we're talking about you to do this. We also need the institutions to support this. So our parents are part of the institutions I'm talking about, our guardians. You know, do not, like, let, let's not influence these things. Let us under, let's understand. I think because this is easy for people to do is because people are really forgetting or they don't, they don't understand, like I said, is they don't understand. Like I'm very big with understanding and education. So I, I feel particularly think that when people understand, when young people understand, and even our parents, you know, are reminded or guardians, leaders, whatever, whatever it is, are reminded of why an institution or, or a program was, was formulated in the first place, we'll begin to find new ways to address the current or present day situation. Like I said, this, 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 this problems are, are open and, and I'm not unaware of them. All right. But we should not push it on the problems right now. Okay. It's, been, it's been something that, that needed attention, like the word influencing and changing the, 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 the costs of why NYC was formed, you well, know. So I, 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 we thought we should show, we should show that picture um, to most, 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 most NYC com members. They have visited the gallery, and they, they are really, you, you, they have this surprising look in their, in their eyes, like, oh, so we had this before, like this long, and young, young NYC com members are actually on the farm working together. I proudly say that when I was seven, I mean, I, I didn't know I was going to be doing this 10 years ago, but I was posted legitimately to a number state, and I went and I served. I didn't just, just serve there, I served in the community that I was asked to serve, because in my, in my mind at the time, I was so young, I just really thought, I was younger than now, of course, I just really thought that it was important to, to do this. Okay, Honestly, then. we so, don't have a clear understanding because then it was like it was a waste of time for NYC. All right. But I, that's one of the best decisions I've made in my okay. life because I've been able to understand this other regions and, and way of life. Okay. Well, what, what, one of the uh, critical objectives of the National Youth Service uh, Corps was uh, to raise entrepreneurs from as soon as you leave the university, that one, that's one year, among other things, among some of the issues that you have raised, one of the objectives was to make entrepreneurs out of the uh, uh, youth core members, but I don't know how well that was effective. However, uh, you talked about the element of um, unity. Um, so all those divisions along ethnic lines, along religious lines are completely 
obliterated in this next picture of Christians forming human shield to protect Muslims at prayers in 2012. This is interesting, right? Very interesting. So, um, like I stated before, NYC was formulated or was a program that that was that was supposed to help to to foster unity which is not the case right now you know not 100 percent, but majorly not the case right now when i saw this particular photo and i thought it was something that created all the photos basically and i thought it was something which should be on the in the gallery because it, it was recent and of course this photo we can see their faces clearly but it was young and old and all, all kinds of stuff and these are christians guiding the Muslims while they prayed somewhere in Kano, 2012, like it's recent. And this kind of image needs to be publicized. This kind of image needs to travel really far. This kind of image needs to actually be taught in schools, like, like put it on the board, on a projector, and really teach children and teach young persons, like this is the Nigeria we want to see. This is actually the Nigeria we want to see. When you do not, it doesn't have to be your brother before it affects you. When it doesn't have to be your family members to affect you. When when a, when the church is is is, is being destroyed, the Muslims, the Marxists should come and, and, and question why and find solutions. When the when a Marxist is 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 is, is, is attacked, the, the Christian the Christian community should also question. It is not a question of until it's my is my concern, until it's my family, until it's my church, until it's a Christian or the Muslim, and that's when we have to talk and then I mean come out and, 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 and fight. And that's why that particular photo is just a major, the fa one of my favorite photos that I that I came across, and I really I'm still looking for the re the very very original or the, or, or the photographer who took the photo because that kind of person needs to give, probably give us a bigger, clearer picture, and then we can like really really put it out there. But it is something we need to always is in an image that we need to put in the face of every young person and say this is nigeria i want to see at whatever cost we don't there's there, there's no option basically well the, it's interesting that uh, that picture was taken in 2012 because it was about that time that we had the occupy nigeria which also broke down all the walls of the vision or ethnic walls or religious walls or political walls all those mm -hmm. structures were broken down when we decided that look we don't want what everyone, every Nigerian spontaneously, not by any means, spontaneously decided to take a stand together. Now, that is definitely something. How, how frequently do you think we should have that? So I'm going to link that photo to the Biafran, the, the Nigerian, the Civil War picture. That's the Nigerian soldier and the Biafran soldier coming together, like hugging and stuff. I think that it's, it tells of our core as Nigerians. I think Nigerians are very loving people. I think Nigerians, in the midst of the chaos and everything, or whatever that has been orchestrated to divide us, I think an average Nigerian, an average Nigerian young person really wants peace. I, I, can, I, can, I can tell you that for free. They really want peace. But there's always this soft-faced cloud, like something cloud in the mind, and then they act based on impulse or the immediate. And, and, I, still, and I still understand. But that photo of the, Muslims, of the Christians guiding the Muslims while they prayed, and the photo of the Biafran soldier and the Nigerian soldier just says to us that Nigerians want this. Nigerians want to be together. Nigerians actually love themselves. They really do. You know, we just have to put this narrative more on the table, you know, so that it would, it would drown the, the noises of hate speeches and distractions and, and, and personal interest that is stirred up into, or, 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 or yeah, personal interest that just, that just channel youth into the wrong direction. Because in the core, in the heart of it, the matter, Nigerians, young Nigerians, really, really, really crave and they want peace for real. Let me, let's look at this last picture and tell me very quickly, why does this one speak to you, this picture? Fantastic. I really do love this photo. And amongst the many photos I was creating and I saw this photo and I was, 
you know, there are regular, there are, there are other photos that you see um, leaders, you know, for the, for, the, for the camera, and they shake hands together, and they're having, they're having straight face, and just, it's just for the, for, it's like photo op. This is a rare photo of, there's an, an APC and a PDP. And you could see that they, they didn't plan that it was going to be taken. Luckily, it was taken. Powerful image. And then it's, it's saying, it's, it, it, it tells you know, young people that, see, beyond what it, whatever anyone tells you to make you hate your brother, at the, at the, at the back end, they are fine with themselves. So an it, APC person or a PDP person yeah. or a Christian or a Muslim tell you whatever, whatever story, and yes. yet... At the end, these guys go back and be friends. Okay. And 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 and, and drink water and and, and <laughs> gist. Well, we, we could go on and so on on this is... one, uh, Ishiro. We could go on and on because it's really really exciting to look at some of these pictures. It will be wonderful to visit your uh, gallery one of these days, or probably even your social media uh, uh, handles. Thank you very much for spending time with us, Ishiro, documentary Thank photographist, you. visual communication strategist, and the founder and curator, Aniza. Thank you so much for your time. Well, that's the show today. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ayo Makine. Have a wonderful day. The views and opinions expressed by guests on this program are those of the maker and do not reflect the views, opinions, and endorsement of Channels Television.